Hey, how's it going? Rusty Hazelden here, and welcome to The Art of NURBS Modeling, Volume 1. From curves to surfaces and everything in between, we'll dive deep into the Maya NURBS Modeling toolset and put them to use by modeling a highly detailed hurricane lantern. To get the most out of this video, make sure to download the project files linked in the description and give this tutorial a go. In this video, we're going to start drawing the hurricane lantern curves that will later be used to create the lantern surfaces. From the file menu, select Open Scene. In the Scenes folder, select Chapter 2 and click Open. Now we're going to use the CV Curve tool to draw the lantern curves. From the Create menu, select Curve Tools, CV Curve Tool with Options. Reset the settings. Make sure the curve degree is set to cubic. Close the tool settings window. Enable grid snapping by clicking the icon in the toolbar. Let's start drawing at the base of the lantern. Zoom in so the whole base can be seen in the reference image. Click and place the first CV at the origin. Then place the next CV on the grid. The next CV is near the far left corner of the base. Turn off grid snapping. Let's zoom in so we can see the finer details in the reference image. Next, let's create a rounded corner using CVs spaced equally around the corner. If you place a CV and want to reposition it, press the Home or Insert key. If you're on a laptop with a limited keyboard, you can also hold down the D key. Move the CV to a new location and press the Insert or Home key again to resume drawing the curve. Let's continue drawing the curve by placing CVs. After placing the last CV, press Enter to complete the curve. In some places, the curve doesn't line up with the reference image. This is easy to fix. With the curve selected, press the F8 key to switch to component mode. In this mode, we can easily select CVs and reposition them with the move tool. By pressing the up and down arrow keys, you can quickly move between CVs on the curve. Let's rename this curve in the channel box. I'm going to call it Base Curve. Let's draw the next curve. From the Create menu, select the CV Curve tool. The next curve needs to line up with the first curve. To do this, we're going to use Curve Snapping. Curve Snapping allows you to place a CV precisely on an existing curve. Enable Curve Snapping. Click on the base curve and drag all the way to the right along the curve. The first CV should now be snapped to the curve. At this point, we can turn off curve snapping and continue placing CVs. After placing the last CV, press Enter to complete the curve. Press the F8 key to switch to component mode. Select the CVs and reposition them with the Move tool. Then press the F8 key to switch back to object mode. In the channel box, rename the curve Burner Curve. And on to the next curve. Select the CV Curve tool. Turn on Curve Snapping. Click on the burner curve and snap the first CV to the end of the curve. Turn off curve snapping. Let's continue drawing the curve. Then press Enter to complete the curve. Press the F8 key to switch to component mode 
and use the Move tool to refine the CVs. Select the last CV in the curve, and in the channel box, click on the words CVs click to show. It's important that this CV is exactly at zero in the Z axis, so type zero in the Z field. Then press enter. This has moved the CV to the grid line. Click in the perspective view. Then press the F A key to switch back to object mode. Rename this curve grill curve. Let's grab the CV curve tool again and draw the outline of the globe. Let's call this curve globe curve. We're going to start drawing the next curve, starting at the bottom near the globe, and then move upwards. To create a sharp corner, place the CV, then hold down the V key to enable point snapping, and place two more CVs on top. Release the V key to turn off point snapping. Hold down the shift key when placing the last two CVs so they are drawn in a horizontal line. Once again, it's important that the last CV in this curve is aligned to the grid. So let's select the last CV and use the channel box to position it. Click on the words CVs click to show and type zero in the Z field. This CV is now aligned to the grid. Click in the perspective view and press the F A key to switch back to object mode. Let's rename this curve Retainer Curve. The next curve will be the green outline. With the CV Curve tool, click and place the first CV. Then place the next CV at the corner. Let's turn on point snapping by holding down the V key. Place two additional CVs at the corner, one on top of the other. This will create a sharp corner. Now we can let go of the V key to turn off point snapping. Let's continue placing the remaining CVs using point snapping whenever we come to sharp corners. We'll have to make a few adjustments to the CVs so they line up a little closer to the reference image. Let's rename this curve Dome Curve. The next curve is the ring at the top of the lantern. Grab the CV Curve tool again, and let's start the curve at the bottom and work our way up. This curve requires two CVs to be exactly on the grid. Select the first and last CVs. Click on the words CVs click to show. Select both fields in the Z axis and type in zero. Now both CVs are on the grid line. To create the other half of this curve, we're going to duplicate the curve and then join the two curves together. Select the curve. And from the Edit menu, select Duplicate Special with Options. Reset the settings. 
next to the word scale, type minus 1 in the third field, which represents the z-axis. By duplicating an object with a scale value of minus 1, it will create a mirrored copy. Click Duplicate Special. Select the curve on the right, and from the Curves menu, select Reverse Direction. Click in the viewport to deselect the curve. Then select the left curve, hold down the Shift key, and then select the right curve. Now that we have both parts of the ring curve selected, let's join them together. From the Curves menu, select Attach with Options. Reset the settings. Change the Attach method to Connect. Set multiple knots to Remove. Uncheck Keep Originals. Click Attach. The two curves have been attached and are now one curve. From the Edit menu, select Delete by Type History. In the Channel box, rename the curve Ring Curve. The next curve we're going to draw is the Lantern Handle. Just like the Ring Curve, we're going to duplicate the curve after we draw it and use the Attach command to join the two curves into one unified curve. Let's start drawing the curve at the bottom using the CV Curve tool. Select the last CV. Click on the words CVs click to show. In the Z field, type 0 and press Enter. The next step is to duplicate the curve. From the Edit menu, select Duplicate Special with Options. We're going to use the same settings again with minus 1 in the Scale Z field. Click Duplicate Special. We now have the other half of the handle. Select the two curves, and from the Curves menu, select Attach with Options. Reset the settings. Uncheck Keep Originals. Click Attach. The two curves have been attached and now form the handle curve. From the Edit menu, select Delete All by Type, History. In the Channel box, rename the curve Handle Curve. Well, the curves are coming along nicely. Let's take a break at this point, and in the next video, we're going to come back and finish drawing the lantern curves. Well, let me know if you like this video. And be sure to subscribe and hit the bell so you don't miss the next tutorial. If you have any questions or suggestions, post them down below in the comments and I'll take a look. I'm Rusty Hazelden, and thanks for watching.